If you're trying to find the best class for you as a beginner for Lost Ark, then we're going to let you know some of the best options that will make your playthrough not just easier, but also satisfying as these classes are really genuinely fun to play. A quick disclaimer guys, obviously play the class that you like the look of most, there is nothing wrong with that at all, but some classes definitely outperform others when it comes to dealing damage in certain PvE or PvP activities, as well as just genuinely being easier to play, not having to worry so much about specific mechanics or specific combo timings. So with all that in mind, we need to talk about the Sorceress. It's one of the subclasses of the Mage, and it is an absolutely fantastically fun class. It's brilliant in the sense that it is an easy to pick up, but hard to master difficulty. It has great spell variety. It can do huge AoEs, tons of damage, and will perform incredibly well throughout all of the PvE content, even solo because of the amount of damage and AoE stagger that you have available to you but also is fantastic later on in the game for things like the Abyssal Dungeons, the Guardian Raids, and the Chaos Dungeons. For all of these reasons, we found that being a Sorceress was not only fun, but very effective to play, and it was always great to have one on your team because of the sheer damage that they can output. So if you're looking for a class that is relatively mobile, but also has a huge variety of elemental attacks that deal huge AoE damage, then the Sorceress might be one for you. It's more on the glass cannon side of things in that it's going to be a little squishy compared to other classes, but again you have built in class teleportation, as well as lots of stagger in all of your AoE moves. But if survivability is a big concern of yours, then we need to talk about the Berserker next, which is one of the subclasses for the Warrior. The Berserkers are incredibly powerful warriors with high damage, big greatsword swinging attacks, but also have excellent defense and survivability. If you want to cleave and face tank your way through hordes of enemies with ease, I'm telling you guys the Berserker with the massive sword that it has is going to be a really good option for you. It's one of the most satisfying melee warrior archetypes. It does big damage, it's very tanky, always good to have one on your team for those same reasons. The Berserker is just an absolutely fantastic option if you're looking for that more survivable but still potent damage dealing class. But if you want to be even more defensively focused, then we go to our next recommendation which is the Paladin, another one of the warrior subclasses. The Paladins are like the effective tanks of this game, although they are still capable of putting out some decent damage and they have a lot of AoE options available to them. They're also one of the few support type classes in the game in that the Paladin will be able to both cleanse and provide their allies with shields, which is absolutely fantastic for all of the endgame content. Paladins are a wonder to have on your team for the buffs that they bring. They're also very handy to have in PvP as they can not only help your teammates out with shields and cleanses, but also lock down foes with stuns. We've got some bonus mentions to talk about because of course there are a lot of different classes and subclasses in Lost Ark, all great in their own way, but we did want to mention the Assassin classes, the Deathblade and Shadowhunter. These are fantastic options for DPS and really good in PvP, but do be aware they will require a bit more knowledge of positioning and your combo timings in order to fully utilize them. While another good option which is one of the mage subclasses is the Bard, it's an absolutely fantastic support option, probably one of the best supports in the game, there's only a few, being able to buff damage, give shields and even heal, the Bard won't be putting out a lot of damage on its own, but if you are one of the traditional support or healers of past MMOs, the Bard might be for you and ultimately can be even better than having another DPS in your raid group as the damage bonus of a bard can actually exceed a single person's DPS across the whole team. Therefore, if you want to be an excellent support option, the bard is fantastic, but the leveling experience and the damage you deal is obviously going to be a lot more challenging. Let us know what class you plan to pick or did in fact pick if you're already playing in the comments below, and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for all the other guides on the channel. On screen now is a video that we think will really help you guys out if you are playing Lost Ark, so definitely don't miss out.